Life on Earth is incredibly rich. Richness of form, function, beauty, interconnectedness. It is this richness of life that makes our ecosystems work, providing food, oxygen, climate control, medicine and other resources which enable us to live on this planet. The Museum für Naturkunde Berlin celebrates this diversity in its biodiversity wall. Let's have a closer look at some of our amazing species. Chameleons are amazing animals. Independently movable eyes, a long, rapidly projecting tongue, tongue-like toes, a grasping tail and, of course, the proverbial ability to change their colours. Rays are fascinating winged underwater flyers. The Chinese giant salamander, at 1 meter 80 length, it is an incredible sized amphibian. Living exclusively in the water of mountain lakes and streams in China, over 90% of its habitats are already destroyed. The giant pangolin lives in West and Central Africa, where it is under severe hunting pressure for its meat and supposed healing powers. When threatened, it can roll into a scaly ball. An echidna, mammal, after having hatched from their mother's belly pouch, the young are nursed by milk like human babies. The pygmy slow lorry, a wonderful nocturnal tree-dwelling primate from Southeast Asia. It is able to digest poisonous centipedes or caterpillars, as well as hard-to-digest tree saps. It is a favorite exhibit of our museum. A horseshoe crab, going back 450 million years and once abundant all over the world. Today, only four species survive. Their blue blood is extremely useful in medicine, as it can detect minute concentrations of bacterial toxins. The name of this species is not difficult to remember. The shoebill from Africa. Like so many species, they are threatened by habitat destruction and hunting. The kiwi, a tiny flightless bird, being a national symbol of its native New Zealand does not prevent it from being endangered by predators introduced by humans. Earth biodiversity has always been at risk. In the last 500 million years, several minor and five major extinction events destroyed between 30 and 90% of all species. Most extinctions have been caused by rapid climate change. However, biodiversity was always regenerated through natural processes, taking many hundreds of thousands or millions of years. Today, the diversity of life, of our natural environment, is again at risk. But this time, the force threatening it is us, humans. Our need for land, food, energy, raw materials is driving species extinction. We are transforming the planet. Thus, scientists are considering to call our time a new geological age, the Anthropocene. If we were to change our behavior, nature would recover, as it has in the geological past. However, this will take a very long time. We don't have to save nature, but to help future generations, we need to better manage our natural, geological and biological resources. The Museum für Naturkunde in Berlin is dedicated to this work. We count on your support.